Hello, and thank you for tuning in to Fran Coach's Franchising 101 podcast series. I am Tim Parmater, founder and CEO of Fran Coach and your podcast host. Fran Coach is a national search firm dedicated to working with individuals who are interested in owning a franchise. We are partnered with over 500 of the top franchisors in the country, spanning nearly 60 industries. Our goal is to help clients find the absolute best franchise for them to own. Our goal of the Franchising 101 podcast series is to help educate people on all aspects of franchise ownership. Today, we want to talk about a very simple topic. Um, how in the world do you find the best franchise to own? Great question and, and, uh, and not an easy answer to this or, or certainly not an answer that is um, what we might think. Um, if we want to learn anything new these days, um, there's good old fashioned Google, right? Um, to type something in, we got Siri, we got Alexa, um, whatever, whatever we want, we can, we can search for that, whether it's a place to eat, we're looking for a new, new car, new, whatever, um, go online, search, type it in and we'll get mountains of information, probably more than we need. Right. But with franchising, it's very, very different. Um, first of all, let's remember there are well over 3,000 franchised businesses in the United States. Um, but even if we said to Google, like, hey, what are the top or the best franchises? Um, there are millions of things that are going to pop up, um, from some from some very reputable sources. Uh, they're going to give you lists like top 100 franchises under 50,000, under 100,000, um, top 20 in this category, top 20 in that category. First, do understand that franchises are paying for, to be on most of those lists. Um, so there's a little skewed nature of them from that perspective. But also the information, especially when you're looking at a an under a certain dollar amount, is incredibly misleading. Um, number two is how do you differentiate between the franchises in the first place? Um, there is a list, and we, we kind of reference this in a blog you can find on the Fran Coach website, um, that is a top 100 franchises under $50,000. Um, well, on that list, there are eight franchises that are in the commercial cleaning industry alone. Eight. Um, how, how do you know the difference between those eight? Um, and there are five of those on, on there that are franchises we work with. And they are great partners, but they are all very different from one another. It's commercial cleaning. How different can it be? The answer is very, very different. Um, that's first. Then you have franchises that are clearly significantly more than $50,000, which let me just help you. They all are. Um, franchise fees alone range thirty to $50,000 on average. Um, that's just to get started. There's, again, pretty much no actual franchise that um, is anything more than maybe a part time, you know, like you're going to be the call center person to book somebody's cruise. Fantastic industry to be in right now. Right. So but there's really nothing um, uh, under that that range anyway. Right. Then look on this list and there are things on here that are that are food related, that are retail related. Um, those are nowhere near under 50,000. Um, so another list we have that I just ran across the other day has Dunkin' Donuts um, as a franchise under $100,000. Um, a Dunkin' Donuts, the ones that most most of us probably go into, where you can go into, that has kind of that cafe setting that has a drive-through. Some even have a double drive-through. Um, those are close to a million dollars as a total investment. Um, so why is that listed on there is a possibility under a hundred thousand. Is that is that list? Are they just blatantly lying? No, but you have to again understand franchising, right? Um, there's a there, there's actually a car wash uh, close close to my house that is a full service car wash, gas station, convenience store, and inside that that gas station in the convenience store part is a Dunkin' Donuts. It's a tiny little kiosk, right? Um, that is technically a, an owned Dunkin' Donuts franchise. That tiny spot in the kiosk is an example of something that might come in under $100,000 to own a Dunkin' Donuts. Um, again, we'll think, well, geez, give me, one, give me one of those. Doesn't work that way, right? You have to own multiple of the, 
cafe kind of retail side and then add something like that or or things that you see maybe in a food court or in a, a sporting arena remember back in the old days when we could go to a we, we could go we could go to a baseball game or a basketball game football game whatever and in that concourse there might be a burger king right that burger king doesn't take two million dollars to own the regular ones do so again incredibly incredibly misleading then you have to realize you can have two franchises just we, we take the cost out of it that look the exact same to the consumer whether they are selling a sandwich or cleaning your bathroom to the consumer they look the same but behind the scenes they can be night and day different um, the difference between Jimmy John's and Subway to the consumer is pretty small. It's some place we can go for for lunch and grab a sandwich. Um, behind the scenes, what they're all about, what they look for in an owner, the sales, the marketing, the culture, vastly different. Um, we work with three franchises that have the word handyman in the name of the franchise. Now, I, I don't think it's going to take any of us very long to figure out what kind of service all three of those franchises provide, at least on the surface. It is some sort of handyman related um, opportunities and services that they're gonna provide in your home. Um, so again, to the consumer, they can look very, very similar. Behind the scenes, those three are all, again, very different. Um, and what would be a great fit for one would be a terrible fit for the other. Um, again, those are things behind the scenes that you will never ever find on Google. Those are things that you're going to need an actual good old fashioned franchise professional like the team at Fran Coach to be able to know the difference between those things, right? So that's that's the, the, the search piece of it where it's really a complete needle in a haystack trying to go through online 3,000 plus franchises um, and figuring out what's the best fit for you. Um, the other piece of this, and then really a couple more things, is for folks that are looking at this for the first time that are coming out of the corporate worlds, um, corporate world, it is just defined by industry. We actually have a whole, a whole other podcast about this, so I won't go into it too much. But because you've been in a certain industry in your corporate world does not mean that's the industry you need to have a franchise in. Um, in fact, the vast majority of people we work with start a franchise that is in an industry they have little to no experience in. Um, why? You're not the doer. Um, standard example I always use with folks is, is you could own a cleaning franchise and you could be the absolute biggest slob on the planet. The franchise does not care that you're a slob, that your house is ready for an episode of Hoarders. It's not your job to be the cleaner as the owner of that franchise. It's your job to run the business. Can you manage that staff? Can you execute the sales and the marketing? Can you oversee the financials? That's what you're doing. So it doesn't matter th about that, right? So that's first. And then the other thing is, and, and really what matters most in finding the best franchise is what what's the business model look like what does the owner role look like what are you going to do there's absolutely nothing more important than the owner role what are you as an owner going to do what are you good at what do you want want to do the time you want to spend things you want to avoid um, again you're going to get out of bed you're going to go to work at your business this is the absolute biggest driver in that um, and it does not always mean exactly what you've done in the past uh, we want to take those things, but we want to also focus on things that you really want to do moving forward. That's first. Um, then core values of the business, um, the sales, uh, marketing side, the customer profile. Why are customers buying from you? How often are they coming back? Uh, those, those, in, those intangibles, those drivers. Um, that's creating the conversations that you're having as an owner in the community, with your customers, with your staff, what kind of staff, how many, what's the growth potential. We do talk about industries, location, financials, all of those different things are going to factor in um, and each have uh, kind of different levels of importance within that. Um, again, nothing that you're ever going to find online for that. Um, so the biggest thing you have to really, um, and not to go all cliche on us right now, but you have to have a paradigm shift from how you search for a job, how you search for a, a new TV or where to go eat dinner tonight. Um, it is not typing it into Google. 
Um, you have to flip this around. You have to you have to work through building all of this out from scratch, right? And even then, even if you could figure out all of the different things that you have to ask, and we're going to go through three steps with folks before we ever have enough information for clients to be able to do the research properly. But even if you could still figure that out, you don't know the difference behind the scene between these eight commercial cleaning franchises in this in this list. You don't know the difference between Jimmy John's and Subway. You don't know the difference between the three handyman franchises, right? Um, that's where you need a team of professionals like us at Fran Coach to be able to understand what's behind the scenes, help you figure all that out, and then help you work through the process. Um, so it, again, just it is it's incredibly difficult and, and just completely different than pretty much everything out there um, to, again, to help people find that best franchise down. That's what we are here for. Um, for us, for, for folks that might be interested in, in exploring this a little bit a little bit more, I always want to point out there's never, ever any fee for our service. Um, and, and our biggest focus, as we've talked about earlier, is, is to help educate folks to know if this is the right path for them. Um, if so, then we're going to work. We're going to work diligently together to find the absolute best fit for you. Um, so we hope that helps. Um, we really hope our, our podcast series in general help folks understand just a little bit more about franchise ownership um, and the potentials and the possibilities that uh, that, that lie within them. Um, if this has helped create, create a little bit more interest or intrigue and possibly becoming a franchise owner, then let's talk. Let's schedule a brief introductory call. Um, you can find us online, francoach.net. Hit the little contact button there and, and we'll reach out to you. Follow us anywhere or find us anywhere online. On the social media sites, uh, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook. Um, if you need me to, I'll create a MySpace account, right? Um, also, just go old school, pick up the phone. 480-501-1354. Um, is our direct line. Um, we look forward to talking to you again. Never, ever any fee for our service. If this intrigues you at all, take that first step today to help create your better tomorrow. Thanks everyone for tuning in. Stay safe and we look forward to connecting soon. Have a great day.